Today's video, I'm gonna be telling you guys basically my opinion on what it takes to be a hybrid athlete. This morning, today, we're in the gym, recently switched up my training time. Anyway, today we're gonna be starting with chest. Today, I'm not following the powerlifting program that I've been on, as some of you guys know, um, just because the days that I have that are structured more so for the powerlifting take so much more out of me as of right now. Maybe as soon as my muscles get used to the recovery of it, I'll switch it back. I don't know if any of that made sense, but either way, we got a chest workout to get into, so let's get it. Now, before we actually get into the workout, the first thing that I think it takes to be a hybrid athlete is you need to be incorporating some sort of weight training. Now, it doesn't have to be, but I train like a bodybuilder for my weight training, but it could be something like strongman, strictly powerlifting, uh, Olympic lifting, whatever kind of lifting that you want to do. So if you're an athlete, you have to be strong as well. You can't just be all about endurance or just all about strength because then that just fits you into one category and then you're not as versatile. Without further ado, let's get in. hybrid athlete category. So Rory, in your professional opinion, what does it take to be a hybrid athlete? First thing, I would stop following Levi and maybe follow him oh, the YouTuber. Oh. The hybrid athlete training, like if you look at Spartan Race or the Tactical Games or CrossFit, um, a lot of these other events that people are training for or competing in, you need to have explosive power similar, similar to it. I mean, athletes in the name, like football or some of these other sports. Plus of power helps translate to a lot of the different avenues, whether it's pulling yourself up over a wall, being able to throw something super far, um, that kind of thing. And when it comes to the endurance portion of it, a lot of people focus on doing a lot of the long distance endurance events because they see that on social media and whatnot, but really for five miles and under, maybe a little bit further, um, being really effective in that training. Um, so a long-winded answer there. I see, being functional. That's for the original version of hybrid athlete, which is just a trending keyword for social media right now, <laughs> came from. It was functional fitness and being able to perform in a bunch of different avenues. We have it, folks, video's over. I'm just kidding. Obviously, that's Rory's opinion, not my own. I'm gonna get uh, dressed and ready for school because I gotta go there. I have a 9.30 class. It is currently 8.59, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. The other dude was weird, dude. Um, is it Jose? Pretty busy day today so far. I mean, it's almost the end of the day. It's like 6, 12. It's almost the end of the day for me because I go to bed pretty early around 9, 30, 10. Uh, had some school and whatnot. Had accounting today. That's all I had today. And then I got some other school stuff out of the way. Bought some books and stuff. Still trying to figure out some like financial aid accounting, figuring out when I can declare for the business school and whatnot. But back, we're home now. Bean's with us. You're probably wondering like, what did this dude cook for dinner? Like he was really getting into it. And normally I really wouldn't get into it. You know me, I'll usually just make like some steaks, some ground beef, something pretty simple. 
but today's meal is sponsored by HelloFresh. If you guys don't know what HelloFresh is, HelloFresh is a delivery system with food that essentially gives you a whole bunch of ingredients with a meal to actually make. So you guys saw, I made meatloaf. They sent me all the ingredients I needed to make. They told me how to make it. They sent me sides like green beans, told me how to make those. They also sent me some potatoes that are still cooking in the oven right now. They send you everything you need and when you get everything you need, you chose that stuff already online, so it's very customizable. You're able to pick what kind of meals you want. So for me, I was like, I want some more meat, I want some more veggies. It's very tailored to your needs. So this is very beneficial for someone out there that doesn't find the time to go grocery shopping and needs some meals at their house for them that they can just make. Maybe you have time to make meals, but you don't have time to go grocery shopping. This is the perfect solution for that. And like I always say in every single video that I have a sponsor, I don't sign with a sponsor I don't think would be beneficial to any of you guys out there. There will be a link down in the description for some discounts on HelloFresh. If you guys are interested at all in checking them out, be sure to go check them out because they are pretty awesome. I know you guys are probably wondering like, yo, how's this meatloaf? Give you guys a taste test. Okay, so overall, meatloaf is solid. I messed up on the sauce because I was supposed to use regular flour that they sent me and I put the flour not where it was supposed to go. In other words, I don't know where it went. Oh, next thing I'm gonna say about being a hybrid athlete or an athlete in general is it's a lifestyle. So everything that you do pretty much around the day revolves around being an athlete. I know what you guys are thinking, well, oh, I work a full-time job and I have this going on and I'm pretty busy. You know what? I'm pretty busy too. I'm a college student, I run my own business. I'm pretty busy, but my lifestyle was still revolved around being an athlete. So in other words, like, Everything that I eat is revolved around for my training. Everything that is timed around the day is revolved around my training. So everything that I do and the way that I live is very structured based on being an athlete. And honestly, to me, that's what it takes. Like, that's what it takes to be a true athlete and like the true dedication. That's why Bean is such a good athlete. I mean, she's faster than me. She's not stronger, but she, she's got me beating the endurance. Yeah, she's still working on it. I'm gonna finish this meatloaf that is pretty dang good. I'm gonna go beat Jose's button bowling, right? Say right. We finished up a spontaneous nine mile run. Rory was like, we're gonna do, what, are they, what is it called? An unknown distance Unknown run. distance run. And we did it. And here, I'll even show you guys. 9.31, we ran at a 9.19, which is not bad, just for like saying, screw it, we're gonna go for a 9.3 mile run. I say that number, I want it to be 10 so bad. Um, I'm completely starving right now. Roy Star, we're gonna go grab some sandwiches at MSM. MSM is a amazing deli place in uh, Tacoma, so it's right up the road. And then we're gonna go train with Bubba here in a second. I'm feeling good. I'm also wearing new shoes for the first time. I definitely have to go get insoles in them. I would say overall, it's a good shoe. Uh, definitely, if you run with like, let's just say you uh, concave your foot inward when you run, pronate your foot inward when you run, it's definitely gonna affect you a lot more, which it did for me, Rory as well. Overall though, a good shoe right out of the box. Definitely have to go get insoles. Do you have anything to say about the review on them or not? Nah? Super good, super light. The only downfall I had um, was a little bit of rubbing right here because they have this strap underneath the lace that goes underneath to help uh, keep the foot snug around or the shoe snug around your foot. So on a marathon, that definitely will cause some hot spots or blisters, I think. And then at, if you don't tie them super tight, you get a little bit of heel slippage. And I'm true to size, I'm size 12. So typically if I said like mid strikers, you gotta definitely hit or heel. You gotta work on getting onto the balls yeah. of your feet or it's gonna be painful. Yeah, I'm, I'm a big heel striker. So it definitely hurt a lot at one point, but it kind of went away. Definitely a good shoe though, for sure. Very breathable, I will say. I love that. Cause I don't like when my feet get hot when I run. Um, but overall really good. We're gonna pack it up here now and go get some grub. Got 
best sandwiches in the game oh, right here. On. Talk to them, Rory. They are the best sandwiches. <laughs> might not look like anything special, but trust me, it is. Look at that. Ooh, man, little. The bread is the best mm -hmm. bread. The club, bean sprout, avocado, cheese, turkey, bacon. It's everything you could ask for. If you guys go, you either do get the club. I've had the club before, it's amazing. I got Mike's Deluxe, it's a favorite. Their pickles are good. I already destroyed that as soon as I grabbed it. Destroying these right now, the Seahawks are getting destroyed right now in the playoff game. Chargers, Jaguars, we got the Chargers getting the dub. <laughs> Did this after that run, I've ran a total of 23,000, well not ran, 23,000 steps a day. And, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, I just, woo! Man, that just really knocks a lot out of you, a 10 mile run. Next thing that you have to do to become a hybrid athlete is you have to play the athlete part, all right? Now, an athlete doesn't just lift weights, right? They also contribute to some sort of cardiovascular sort of thing. So, like in football, you're contributing to some sort of cardiovascular, whether it be like your position that you're playing, like you're getting your heart rate up and you're getting your heart rate moving. Just because you're a hybrid athlete doesn't mean that you have to do, you know, I would say endurance training. You could do sprint training, I guess, if like you're really into like I don't know, 100 meter dashes. I don't even know if they do local 100 meter dashes. So what I'm saying is that you have to pick some sort of cardiovascular sort of activity as well on top of weight training. Now you can combine them and do something like CrossFit. I think just like Rory said earlier in this video, like a lot of the times people see on like YouTube, Instagram, a lot of social media is hybrid athlete is someone who just lift weights and goes for a run, which is not the case at all. You can do whatever. I choose to run just because that is something that I feel comfortable with. Every time I do any sort of like activity that is beyond that, like football, soccer, whatever, Whatever, my hips just can no longer take it so that's that I'm gonna get inside shower I smell like dookie it is also my dad's birthday so I'm gonna go say a happy birthday to him and oh what do you know a perfect glass of water just somehow sitting here waiting for me to put my creatine in it it's not like I set the camera up or anything just to get the angle looking really aesthetic I'm just about to go to bed and I honestly God just forgot to Take my creatine that is something that I've done recently like a couple weeks ago is forgetting to take this and It's not good to continue to forget to take it because then you just won't get the effects of it You need to keep continuously taking it every day. You need to be consistent with your creatine Consistent creatine. That's a brand name for some of you guys out there now I'm about to end this video and I also want to say that I did just get done showering so that's why my appearance looks a little different. I'm pretty sure you guys wouldn't have been able to have guessed that but anyway. Anyways, I feel like I could have went way more in depth with this video on how to be a hybrid athlete but I feel like I gave a pretty good gist of it. I feel like I gave three main components that sure they could branch off in multiple different areas like for example with like working out and running I could have branched off and talked about recovery, talked about sleep, talked about other different like subcategories that belong to those components, or those components to those categories. I don't know, either vice versa. If you wanna be an athlete, you have to make it a lifestyle. It has to be your way of life. My friend Ezra says that all the time about fighting. He literally makes his MMA career a lifestyle. So you have to do the same thing if you wanna be an athlete. That is gonna do it for today's video. I hope you guys liked today's video. If you guys did, be sure to give it a like. If any of you guys are new here, do not forget to press that subscribe button because you guys know how to do it. Be back. As always, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one.